Over the next eight weeks, our seven young and not so young rookies will battle for supremacy on and off the track. Let's do it. Who wants it more? Come on. In a series of skills and points challenges for a cash prize of $20,000 and a contract with Team Honda Racing. But for some of our riders, it could all be over before it's even begun. To claim top spot, they'll have to impress 500cc World Championship victor and Aussie legend Daryl Beatty and Team Honda Racing principal Paul Free. Contender can be in Sure My Rides the ultimate rider. Who will it be? In Victoria, our seven lucky rookies are making their way to Honda headquarters. Eager to start Ensure My Rides, the ultimate rider journey. So, let's meet the contestants. First up, 39-year-old father of three and magazine editor from Thornley, New South Wales, Sam McLaughlin. I've got uh, three kids, a six-year-old and four-year-old boys, and an 18-month-old girl. And to be honest, she's the most enthusiastic about the bike these days. The reason I'm here and doing this is, one, it's a good opportunity to show people that motorcyclists aren't all brain-dead morons that just like holding a throttle open at the horizon. But also, 20 grand would be awesome. <laughs> also from New South Wales, 20-year-old Mangrove Mountain resident, Glenn Scott, has had his fair share of hard knocks. I lost both my parents to a motorcycle accident in uh, 2003 when I was only 12. I suppose there's no real words to, exp to describe how you feel when that, when that happens. So I've been racing bikes from about five. My mum and dad bought me a bike and uh, ever since then I've been sort of going away racing every weekend. When I heard Glenn's story, you know, I was speechless because I couldn't imagine losing my parents. You know, I think it's made him grow up. For his age, he's a very mature boy. Shy Kyle Buckley is just 17 years old and lives at home with his mum and dad in Eagle Heights, Queensland. On the racetrack, I'm not too aggressive, but um, like most Friday nights and stuff, I'm not out partying. I'm at home, you know, on the computer or with mum and dad, so things are pretty, pretty quiet for me. He's got a lot of potential, I think, Cole, but he's just um, so reserved. I get very nervous and sometimes, yeah, don't know what to say and stuff, but um, no, it's definitely something I need to improve on, but yeah, it's good. From Dural, New South Wales, 18-year-old Hellraiser Mitch Levy is an apprentice carpenter. Always happy, um, always up for a challenge. So it can be pretty determined at times and you got a heap of good mates and just love having a good time. When I watch him ride, he looks like he's had a handful of energy drinks and a handful of lollies. The energy is there and he's full of it, but you need to be able to listen. Daniel Falzon is one smart cookie. He's currently studying biological science at the University of South Australia. I'm a bit different to other races. I went to an all-boys private school and it was some of the greatest years of my life. I've loved every day of school. Whereas a lot of other races quit school early, I decided to stay in uni so I have a backup in case racing doesn't go the way we always wanted it to. Working class boy Brody Nolan is 17 years old and hails from Singleton, New South Wales. 
I used to have a habit of losing my temper a lot as a young bloke, but I think I've learned to control that a lot better and instead of being cranky and losing your head, get your head together and go out and be better in the next one. To me, Brody seems a little lost and has no direction. And maybe he needs someone to steer him in the right direction and then he may accelerate. And lastly, 26-year-old globetrotter Alex Cudlin is from Old Bar, New South Wales. I met my now fiance uh, when I was 17 and you know we moved to England and started a career as a motorbike racer and you know we traveled the world together and um, at the end of the year I'm actually getting married so $20,000 would be quite nice. To me I feel like I would have to be harder on him than anyone else and that's because he's got international experience and he really wants to win it. He wants that $20,000 and a ride with Team Honda Australia. Congratulations. You are the lucky few who have been handpicked to compete in this year's search for Ensure My Rides, the ultimate rider. Each of you now has a one in seven chance of taking home $20,000 cash, plus a testing contract with Team Honda Racing. My name's Clara Lissy, and with me here, casting their watchful eyes over every move you make, is the director of Team Honda Racing, Paul Free. And a man that I assume needs no introduction, MotoGP legend, Daryl Beatty. Welcome, guys. Each week, we will test your skills on and off the track. Any lapse in concentration, though, will massively jeopardise your opportunity to become the ultimate rider. As a director of Team Honda Racing, we're looking to give you the ultimate prize, and that's to test with my team and myself personally with Team Honda Racing. So the first step to becoming the ultimate rider is to look like one. So rookies, grab your bags and head to the Brits Base Camp. This will be the rookie's home for the next eight weeks, and the contestants are wasting no time settling in. Brought the family with me, Glenn. I hope you don't mind, mate. No, that's okay, yeah. mate. They're going right. Right there. Oh, this is young Indy, 18 months. Jai at six, and Zach four. And my wife Beck. I'm not going to tell her the age of. Yeah. Yeah. Look at this gear, man. Sick. It's on here, yeah. What do we got? Helmets. Alpine stars. Waiting inside the Brits vans is everything our hopefuls will need to battle it out in the upcoming week's gruelling challenges. Tech threes. Must be doing a bit of motocross. Oh. All right, let's do it. Coming up, our rookies are a little stunned by the news of their first challenge. They're hitting the track on a rather unusual race bike. have arrived from around the country in a race to be crowned Ensure My Rides, the ultimate rider. Over the next eight weeks, these seven rivals will fight it out in a series of punishing challenges that will push them to the absolute limit. But not always in a manner they're expecting. So here we are, your very first challenge, and it involves this zippy Honda Posty bike. Each of you is going to race against the clock, delivering envelopes into numbered boxes. The twist is, there may be more than one letter for each of the boxes. Guys, today incorporates what they call the ABC, and you all know it. It's accelerating, braking, and cornering. It's exactly what I'll be looking for, but don't fall into the trap by thinking this is easy. On the line today, is a prize that money can't buy. Dinner with your judges and mentors, Daryl and Paul. That's awesome. <laughs> so get your gear and let's go. Oh, I haven't been on one of these for a while. At 39 years of age, Sam may be the oldest rider in the competition, 
but he has a secret weapon. My first proper job out of school was with Australia Post delivering the mail. So yeah, I mean, I just wanted to work with bikes and this was a way to do it. I was a postie for seven years, but I only delivered for the first sort of four or five of that. Three, two, one, go. In addition to mastering acceleration, braking and cornering, this challenge also requires our rookies to remember a very complex course. And is he sorting his mail? Is that what he's doing? He's like an a good postie, postie club, should. He's an ex postie. Oh. What do we call that? Ring a ring a rosy? And he's missed that cone? He's missed that one too. How did you think you went? My plan, when I thought about it earlier, was to sort the mail in the back at the beginning to put them all in the same. So I knew I just had to look for one group and I forgot to do that until I got about halfway around. That was my master plan and I stuffed it. Where's the first cone? Just the first red one there. Are you sure? I'm sure it wasn't that one there? No, I'm not sure, no. <laughs> Next to take on the challenge is wild child 18-year-old Mitch. As a rider, I just, you know, like to be fair and you ride hard and just sort of go go with what my head says. So what have you done with your mirrors there, Mitch? Just turn them around, a little bit less distraction, make sure I'm going in the right direction. <laughs> Three, two, one, go! Mitch Levy's an apprentice trading. And at times, it just seems like he's loose like a tradie. You know, he is just unbelievable. Each competitor is racing against the clock. Ooh. But an incorrect delivery or a wrong turn will incur a penalty. So Mitch's strategy could cost him dearly. Oh, oh Mitch. That's what happens. Everything's a rush. I was yeah, about to say, Mitch should be our first. Yep. Oh, oh, almost off. Oh, slow down. It's just so violent with that bike. He's got, he's got, <laughs> he can't watch it. He's making me nervous. Bro, you can see even coming out of that last turn, he's looking to see if he's hit the witch's hat. Very fast. The question is now, has he got all the mail right? Mitch. Have you ever ridden a Honda CT110? I have. You have? I have. Probably didn't look like it. We're going to get to know you really well over this whole challenge. Is everything always a bullet a go? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> yeah, I, I might look a little bit out of control, but it's... Um... <laughs> Take a breath, Mitch. Yeah, I try to. <laughs> <laughs> After the break... One of our young hopefuls gets very confused about where to deliver the old-fashioned post. What is he doing? And another is in danger of missing the drop zone altogether. If you can't wait for more great action from the show, then thanks to Ensure My Ride, head to our website where you can check out exclusive rider profiles, behind the scenes action and much more. Plus, see Daryl Beatty tackle the ultimate rider test track on the 2012 Honda Fireblade that one lucky viewer will win. All that and more at theultimaterider.com.au. Three, two, one, go! Seven competitors are racing against the clock to deliver the good old-fashioned mail to a series of numbered letterboxes. How'd you go? All right. The quickest postie gets a huge head start in the competition. Dinner and the chance to talk tactics with judges MotoGP legend Daryl Beatty and Team Honda boss Paul Free. Thanks, well done mate. on your first challenge. Thank you. But misjudge the course... Go! ..or deliver the wrong letter to the wrong letterbox and your moment of glory could go down the gutter. Ooh! Knocked a cone over. Did you find it hard? No, I think it was all right. Next to face the challenge is painfully shy teenager Kyle. 
Kyle's a difficult one. Because Kyle doesn't talk, I'd like to see some aggression or some confidence come out and see him grow. How you going, Kyle? Yeah, right, a little bit nervous. <laughs> Why are you nervous? Um, I don't know, it just looks difficult. I've never done anything like this before, so it should be a challenge. Three, two, one, go. Kyle's the first one we've seen walk around and double check the numbers on the letterbox. Oops, what's he doing here? This challenge is a timed event. If Carl wants to win the reward dinner with Paul and Daryl, he'll have to pick up the pace. Time's ticking away. Okay, so it seems that Kyle isn't putting the letters in the right spot, is that right? Yeah, well, yeah, he's putting up in the top which apparently is where you put your newspaper. So we're going to be hard on him with that? Oh, we'll have to. <laughs> Kyle, when your mother or father used to say to you, Kyle, can you go out and get the mail, please? Where did you used to get that out of the letterbox? On what? top or inside the letterbox? Uh, inside. Where did you put your mail? Oh, uh, on top. That, that was a big mistake, wasn't it? 18-year-old university student Daniel is the last to compete. And he normally puts a lot of thought into his racing. There's many riders who just go out there and just barrel into the turns and really don't, uh, don't have too much of a think before they do it. And I kind of try to uh, plan out my race from the start. Three, two, one. Is this the very first letterbox? <laughs> I think he's I forgotten he's meant to. I think he's forgotten he's a postie today, Clara. Yeah. So how much of this task is it, Daryl, that's mental? It's he not just riding a bike, is it? No, it's not, and that's where they're all struggling. But, you know, it's what I said at the beginning. Don't think that it's as easy as what it looks. So he's missed the first mailbox. And missed the fourth mile box. He just went straight past it. Mm -hmm. Would it surprise you if I told you that you missed your very first letterbox? <laughs> and yes. that you missed that letterbox? I just completely missed it. Yeah. Didn't, I didn't even see him. Just won't be having dinner with you, Daryl. <laughs> Coming up. One lucky contestant is given a massive head start in the race to be the ultimate rider, when our very first winner is revealed. This is the limited edition Ensure My Rides the Ultimate Rider Honda Fireblade 1000. And guess what, Clara? We're giving it away. The Honda Fireblade is famously powered by a 999cc liquid-cooled inline four-cylinder engine and is valued at $17,770, including on-road costs. With brand new suspension, bodywork, instrumentation and wheels, this awesome bit of kit is the actual bike Daryl rides in the show and is decked out in exclusive The Ultimate Rider livery, signed by the champion rider himself. You'll also receive one year's comprehensive insurance thanks to insuremyride.com.au, so you'll be completely covered. To enter this exciting competition, visit our website theultimaterider.com.au Get your entries in because you've got to have one of these in your garage. Good luck. So I think you all agree that a lot of riding actually happens between the ears. Now some of you did really, really well out there and then some of you not so well. And that's the point I want to make about today's challenge. If you win the ultimate rider, it's $20,000, but it's a contract with Honda. So that's why in this challenge, you had to be smooth and consistent. 
And the person that didn't do that today was Mitch. And Mitch, I think it's something really you are going to have to work on because it'll bring you undone. Well, for one of you, you only have one thing to think about, and that is what's on the menu tonight with Daryl and Paul. Firstly, I have to say, everyone made mistakes today. Everyone. But the best two riders were Sam and Alex. Smooth, did a great job. Guys look really, really good. But only one can go to dinner, and it's Sam. Well done, Sam. Does that surprise you? Yeah. Why? Because I missed the case. So if that was a small mistake, what were the rest? <laughs> you guys must have clowned it up big time. <laughs> <laughs> Sam now has the privilege of being able to talk strategy with the Ultimate Rider judges, Daryl and Paul. He's going to say, what are we doing tomorrow? <laughs> No, I'm not. I've given up on that. <laughs> you must be in a mild state of panic. If I win this, what are you going to do with some old 39 you know, <laughs> testing your bike? What would you like to see from me to, to take it all the way there? What, what am I going to have to do? Find about five seconds a lap? Or... No. It's not about that? Yeah, I think whatever comes, if you end up testing my motorcycle, I'll be really happy to have you on board, mate. Thanks, mate. It's a very big head start in what will be a fiercely contested competition. For the most mature guy in the ultimate rider to come out, you know, top straight away, no points. But I think it's opened a few eyes. It's great to come first in my first challenge, but uh, replicating it's going to be another thing, especially with those guys all fired up now. 